This is BBC News. I'm Anita McVeigh. The headlines at 8 o'clock. A deal on press regulation by the Conservatives, Labour and the Liberal Democrats. All three leaders claim the credit. Everyone has accepted my argument for a royal charter. What we've agreed is essentially the royal charter that Nick Clegg and I published on Friday. It's very much on the basis, almost exactly on the basis of what I'd hoped when I published my own, uh, my own proposals along with Ed Miliband last Friday. But there's no agreement on whether the new framework is underpinned by law. We'll have the latest from Westminster for you. The other main stories on BBC News at 8. Archie! 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 Anger in Cyprus over plans for a tax on savings. Banks are shut until Thursday amid fears over deposits. Mairead Philpot in the dock. She denies starting the fire that killed her six children. Ten years on from the fall of Saddam Hussein, we have a special report from the BBC's Ben Brown in Baghdad on how Iraq is faring. We'll be very good with animals. Hello, little pussy. <laughs> and Frank Thornton, who starred as Captain Peacock in Are You Being Served, dies at 92. Hello, good evening. Thanks for joining us on BBC News. David Cameron has insisted that the cross-party compromise on press regulation defends the principle of a free press. He was addressing MPs before they began a debate on the deal reached by the three main parties overnight. The campaign group hacked off, was at the negotiations, but told to leave at a sensitive stage. Newspaper chiefs say there are still deeply contentious issues. Here's our political editor, Nick Robinson.